What's going on now? An important ocean current has suddenly stopped. Researchers are calling it an unprecedented event and no one really knows why it happened. Be sure to stay until the end to find out what happened and how massive the consequences for the oceans and the planet could be. A warm welcome, everyone. Oh, how beautiful Panama is. I was there in 2017 and had a really great time in this narrow country between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Feel free to write me in the comments if you've been to any countries in the Central America region and which ones. I'd be very interested to hear about it and look forward to reading your travel reports. In this case, however, Panama is unfortunately not so beautiful because something very disturbing has happened off the Pacific coast. If you find discoveries from marine research as fascinating as I do, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing doesn't cost anything at all. You'll never miss exciting science news again and you'll be helping me out a lot. And if you've already subscribed, you can really help the video by giving it a thumbs up. Maybe we can hit 5,000 likes to really boost the YouTube algorithm. Thanks everyone. And now let's head to the Pacific, more precisely to the Gulf of Panama. Something super exciting usually happens here every winter. Cold, nutrient-rich deep water rises to the surface and transforms this tropical region into one of the most productive habitats in the world's oceans. This phenomenon is called upwelling. And in 2025, for the first time in at least 40 years, that simply didn't happen. It's a bit like if the Rhine suddenly stopped flowing or if Bavaria went a whole year without celebrating Oktoberfest. So, basically completely impossible, but it still happened. And before you think, so what? it's just some current in the ocean, this event has the potential to paralyze entire ecosystems. But let's first understand what usually happens. Every January to April, the Gulf of Panama experiences a true natural spectacle. The trade winds whip across the sea and push the warm surface water away from the coast. This creates a vacuum which is filled by cold, nutrient-rich deep water. This upwelling current is the engine for one of the most productive life systems on the planet. The cold water brings with it vast amounts of nutrients, nitrate, phosphates, silicates, everything phytoplankton needs to live, and when the phytoplankton explodes, the entire food chain explodes with it. Small fish eat the plankton, larger fish eat the small fish, and in the end, the entire region benefits from this natural fertilizer from the depths. This is also essential for the people in the region. Fishing in Panama is largely dependent on this seasonal gold mine. During the upwelling season, fishermen sometimes catch 10 times what they land in other months. It's like a natural gold rush, only with sardines, mackerel, and tuna. And then there is another, perhaps even more important effect. The cold rising water acts as a natural air conditioner for the region's coral reefs. While other tropical coral reefs suffer from rising sea temperatures and bleaching, the corals in the Gulf of Panama remain relatively relaxed thanks to this natural cooling. They are, so to speak, the winners of the ocean lottery. But in 2025, everything will be different and that will have far-reaching consequences. An international team of researchers led by Aaron O'Dea from the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute analyzed the data and made a startling discovery. Normally, the upwelling current begins on January 20th at the latest and lasts for about 66 days. Water temperatures drop by an average of 19 degrees, sometimes even to just under 15 degrees. In 2025, there was no sign of that. The temperatures didn't drop below 25 degrees until March 4th, and that was 42 days too late. And then this weak upwelling only lasted a measly 12 days, instead of the usual two months or more. The minimum temperature was a miserable 23.3 degrees. The researchers describe it as follows. Our data reveal an unprecedented suppression of the Panama upwelling current in 2025. That sounds scientifically sober, but behind it lies an ecological disaster. The scientists evaluated 40 years of satellite data, 30 years of buoy data, and countless water samples, and there has never been anything like this before. What exactly happened? The answer is a bit frustrating. No one really knows for sure. Researchers have a suspicion, but the exact mechanisms remain mysterious. The culprit seems to be the wind, or rather, the lack of wind. The upwelling current only works when strong north winds blow the surface water away. This year, when the winds did blow, they were just as strong as ever, but they blew less frequently. The frequency of the important north winds was reduced by 74%. Scientists suspect a connection with the so-called intertropical convergence zone. This is a kind of weather highway around the equator where the trade winds of the northern and southern hemispheres meet. Normally, this zone migrates south seasonally, bringing with it the winds that drive upwelling. This year, this migration appears to have been disrupted, perhaps by the La Nina conditions in the Pacific, the counterpart to the El Nino climate phenomenon, but this is only a guess. Although there was indeed a weak La Nina 
Colombia at the beginning of 2025, the Gulf of Panama has experienced much stronger ENSO cycles without the upwelling current failing, the researchers point out. The consequences of this mysterious failure are already being felt. Fisheries have recorded significant declines. Where nets are usually brimming with sardines and other small fish, there is now a yawning emptiness. The nutrient-rich phytoplankton, which normally colors the water green, was largely absent. Satellite images clearly show the unusually low chlorophyll concentrations, a clear sign of little plant life in the water. The situation is particularly worrying for coral reefs. Without the cooling effect of the rising deep water, they are exposed to much longer periods of heat. This can lead to coral bleaching, a process in which corals expel their symbiotic algae, losing their color and often their lives. The researchers warn, the consequences are likely to be significant, including declines in fishery productivity and increased heat stress for corals that normally benefit from the cooling effect of upwelling. But is this a one-time event or the beginning of a new trend? That's the million euro question. Scientists are unsure. It could be a normal climate fluctuation. After all, the ocean is a complex system with natural variations, or maybe not. Further research is needed to determine whether the 2025 event signals the beginning of future failures of this upwelling current, the researchers write in their study. That's the polite way of saying we have no idea, but it worries us a little. Particularly problematic is the fact that such tropical upwelling systems are relatively poorly monitored. While we now know a great deal about large ocean currents such as the Gulf Stream, these regional systems such as the Panama upwelling are still a mystery to science. The researchers emphasize this event highlights how climate change can threaten wind-driven tropical upwelling systems, which despite their importance for ecology and coastal economies, have been insufficiently monitored and researched to date. The researchers are now calling for increased monitoring, better modeling, and targeted research on the interactions between oceanography, ecology, and human use. Only then can we understand whether this year was a blip or the beginning of a new normal. So it will be very exciting to see what happens in 2026. Will the upwelling return or will it remain permanently disrupted? The answer will not only be crucial for the fishermen and the corals of Panama, but could also give us important clues about how our climate system will develop in the future. Of course, I will keep you updated on this. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And speaking of surprising discoveries, my next video is about the famous WOW signal from 1977, that mysterious radio signal from space that many believe to be a sign of extraterrestrial life. New analyses now show that this signal was much, much stronger than previously thought, and that could change everything we know about the search for aliens. So be sure to click on the video in the top right corner, it's going to be really exciting. In the bottom right corner, you'll also find another exciting video about space and science. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks.